Hey guys, Paul Inventor 3 here. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, I can show you everything again. Uh, right now, let me show you this real quick. I'll try to make this fast here. Uh, this is our circuit again. Uh, right now, just temporarily, I'm going to eliminate this top negative plate. And we're just going to go with our two plates here. One plate to another plate. We're not even going to have the second plate, the receiver. We're not even going to have it wrap around. And we're going to come to a loop with a coil, 10 LEDs, and nothing else. So it's just going to go right here. 10 LEDs, loop, and just two plates. Transmitter, receiver. This one, let's forget about. Okay. Uh, with that said, let me show you this real quick. Here's my power supply unit. Uh, I have 10 LEDs hooked on to there right now. Okay, let's... Uh, there you go. Finally, 25, 26 volts. Okay, that's when they light up. 25, 26 volts. Just want to point that out real quick. Uh, we got these guys. They're very bright down there. Remember, they're only receiving their energy through a chain of uh, uh, diodes up here uh, with an earth ground to the center of them. And, okay, now. Um, oh, hang on one second. Okay. I've got this one coil in there right now. Just one small coil. Actually, I made three of these. <laughs> so here's the identical one right now in my, uh, this is the one I was using, which is identical. I think it might be one gauge different. The wavelength is the same. Oh, there we go. And later on, I'm going to experiment again with putting this plate back on, and we're going to add a coil to it. So we'll have a positive and a negative plate, and they'll both be balanced. They'll both have the same coil. But anyhow, right now, let's speed it along here. Right now, I'm just showing you two plates, one coil on your primary. The negative right now is going to nothing. I do not have that hooked. That's for my frequency generator. Only the positive is hooked up, just like I showed you right here. Nothing here. Okay, just the coil and one plate and a second plate and a very small circle. Now uh, I cannot get these lights to light up and I've put these sticks under this plate, raised it, raised it, raised it, went through all my frequencies, scanned the whole frequency, raised it up a little more, scan again, raise it up again, scan it again. So anyhow, I cannot get them to light with that equal coil. I'll be right back. Okay, now, <laughs> instead of that coil, I've got this one. It is exactly two times that one. Now they're lit up really nice. Okay, I'm not changing these plates. There's just two plates. I'm not changing the distance between them. Because that's not helping me in my situation. Now again, we're over 3 megahertz now, and we have 12 volts. Uh, remember what I said? It takes 25, 26 volts to light those up. Okay, we've got those lit up, those lit up. We'll be right back. Okay, now I just added 10 more on there. I'm scanning through the frequencies. All right, no matter. <laughs> all right, no matter how high or how low it going, I cannot get that tuned in now. I could play around again with these plates, higher and lower, but just wait. I'll be right back. All right, hang on. Now, coincidentally, I just found a frequency. Sometimes they don't light up right away. Now, now down here, we're dimly lit. 
I can keep going until these are brighter. Uh, not bad. Not bad. Oh. Sometimes I'll get this situation where they're very one click. And all of a sudden they come on. Sometimes it won't come on at all. Alright, now. They're still not. And that one's not nearly as bright. And the thing is, too, I like to have this one lit up at the same time. They are lit up right now at the same time. But they're not nearly as bright as I'd like them to be. Alright, let's see what happens if we add this one to that one. We'll be right back. Oh, wait, wait. I just wanted to show you. Now, we're at 3.5 megahertz. Okay, but things are not as bright. They're not as bright as they should be. Alright, we'll be right back. Okay. Let's see, we come in here. Uh, hold on. Yes, that's correct. I just extended the coil, just connecting them two in series with each other. Okay. Now we're going to start going down where we're at our 35, 36. Oh, those are starting to light up. Okay, those are brighter than they were. Ah, those are lighter now. There we go. Now we're in broad daylight here. It's all you know, very bright in here. Uh, so to see them with that intensity is good. Now they're intense. They're very intense. Yeah, it hurts my eyes to look at them. All right, guys. Now, let's add some more. Uh, remember, I showed you the 26 volts. 25, let's say, to light a string of those. That's 50. That's 50 volts now. We're still at 12. Be right back. All right, guys. There's 30 lit up now. I don't have them all perfectly straight. As you see, I got to move the camera around so you can see them here. Uh, again, it's pure daylight here. Uh, let's see, now we're at 3.1. Let's see. I'm going to keep going down. Aha. Uh -huh. There's another frequency. They're close to each other. 2.8. Uh, which one's better? Hmm. Point eight or three point one eighty. Uh, hard to tell. Hard to tell. I almost want to say the two point eight. No, <laughs> all right, guys. Now this is where we have to keep playing around. Add more coil. Add more LEDs, but you kind of want to keep these synchronized, I think. I think many times I could have these lit and this not lit. It's like, huh? Or vice versa. Uh, all right, we'll be right back. Let's see. All right, now we just switched to this coil. Oh, son of a... <laughs> you see, we started out with those. We started out with just that one. That's... So now it's like... This is like two of those. So that's three of those. Now it's like four of the small coils now. Huh? Okay. Um, 2.7. I'm going up, 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 up. Oh, these are getting crazy bright this time. Now that's where we want things. That's nice. But now, <laughs> now we got nothing up here. We're almost right at 3 megahertz. All right. Let's keep going. Up, 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 up. Anything, anything, anything. Oh, come on. No. All right. So uh, either we have to go back down in size or it might need another 10 LEDs. <laughs> Let me add 10 more on there and see what happens. 
All right, I'm trying to get these in tune here. I can't seem to find the right... Oh, wait a minute. No. <laughs> Let's see that, guys. Huh? I'm, I'm very low right now, only... Almost, almost 2 megahertz. Alright, this video is at 10 minutes. I just wanted to show you this. There's a, there's a pattern going on here. Uh, but now I can't get it to resonate. Let's see, I'm going up, up, up. Wait, wait, oh, wait, right there. 3 megahertz. But now this one's not lighting up at all around this area. Oh, wait, no, I thought I had a real dim one here. It barely lit up at one. Let's see. Oh, right there. Eh. Uh, two megahertz. Yeah. Where was I? That I was touching the wire. Now. Eh. There it is. <laughs> All right. We'll be right back. See if we can fix that. Okay. I put these two coils back. I might have jumped up to this one. A little too prematurely because these two are still able to light four and they're not bad that brightness is not bad I wouldn't say that's 26 I would say it's probably closer to 20 hold on let me try to fine-tune that in there a little bit It's probably closer to 25 volts each one. So again, there's 100 volts. Plus those. Uh, well, guys, uh, I'm going to end this video here. As you see, this is there's a pattern. Okay, this is something very simple that you could experiment with yourself. Uh, it takes a little while playing around. You guys see what's best. Add a little bit, remove a little bit, adjust a little bit. Um, plus, I'm going to be playing around with this other coil yet. Adding the third plate or even wrapping the receiver again like I did originally. Uh, we'll see. That's the one I was using here. There's one inside plate and one outside plate that wraps around it with some thin uh, plastic. Here's the plastic here I use. Actually thin sheets. Maybe about eight thousandths. Maybe ten. Alright guys. Uh, I know I can get these brighter. I'm just tapping my foot on the floor <laughs> uh, vibrations uh, loose connections I don't know anything alright guys we can keep going and going and going with that uh, where's the limit right you know what I just wanted to add on to that these are going out they're coming on okay going up 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 these were out all of a sudden they just come on these are on these now went off these are still on now they're going off oh now these are coming back on it was second frequency oh and so are these oh they both have two frequencies now oh 3.270 lit up very bright down there too and go down 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 oh there you go <laughs> this one's around 2.950 these are not as bright oh wait right there still not as bright 
and not quite in sync with each other now too. A little bit off, but the second resonant frequency, the higher one, they're pretty synced and they're pretty bright. 3.24. Okay, guys, uh, I could keep going and going and going here. <laughs> All right, that's it. <laughs> Till next time.